Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about Amazon Echo Show 15, the perfect dashboard in 2022 and why it is perfect. Everything will be discussed in this video and you will say it yourself. This is the best dashboard, so please watch the video till the end. The Amazon Echo Show line has been available for 4 years, but the screen sizes have previously ranged from 5 to 10 inches, making it perfect as a versatile bedside alarm or a kitchen companion screen. The 15-inch Echo Show 15, which is now available, is Amazon's largest display to date, and it's also the first Echo Show that can be mounted on your wall. As a result, the company is wagering that some people will use it as a family bulletin board, as well as a digital photo frame. If that's what you're looking for in a smart display, the Echo Show 15 could be a niche but excellent match. But we have a feeling that this isn't the case for the vast majority of folks. Design in many ways, the Echo Show 15 is more similar to one of the greatest digital photo frames available today than it is to a traditional smart speaker. The Echo Show 15 has a big 15.6 inch 1080p touchscreen display that is bordered by a white mat and surrounded by a black frame. It can be hung on a wall, in either portrait or landscape mode, or propped up on a table. Drawing analogies, it appears to be a larger version of the Facebook portal, if that makes sense. Display and interface Designed to function as a digital bulletin board, the Echo Show 15 allows you to glance at the screen to see upcoming calendar events, check the weather forecast for the day, and leave notes for family members, essentially performing all of the same functions as the Samsung Family Hub, but without the refrigerator. A range of widgets such as a calendar, notes, recipes, and shopping list will be available for use by owners to personalize the display. At the moment, all of the widgets have been produced by Amazon, but the company is planning to make them available to third-party developers in the future. Although the display does not enable handwriting, if you want to type in a note, an on-screen keyboard will appear on screen. To be sure, if you wish to leave a message, you can do so by speaking to Alexa or by using the Alexa app on your mobile device. When the screen is not in use, it will default to images from your Amazon Photos gallery or images that have been preloaded. Camera the Echo Show 15 has a small 5 megapixel camera in the upper left corner, which can be used to make video calls with Alexa. The Echo Show 15's camera, in contrast to the Echo Show 10, does not enable motion tracking, which means it will not be able to digitally pan and zoom to follow you around the room. The Echo Show 15 is equipped with Amazon's latest AZ2 processor, which allows it to execute additional operations on device. One of these functions is Visual ID which uses the camera to recognize individual faces and adjust the display to their preferences, among other things. It is stated on Amazon that Visual ID is an opt-in only feature that can be turned off at any moment if you find it too weird. Additionally, all of your data remains on the device. If you want to know more about Amazon Echo Show 15, stick to the video till the end, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Entertainment Echo Show 15 supports the same streaming services as Amazon's other smart displays, including Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, and other streaming services that are supported by the company's devices. In addition, Sling TV and TikTok will be made available soon. Echo Show 15 will contain two side-firing speakers measuring 1.6 inches in diameter. While those speakers should produce decent sound, they aren't expected to be as good as those found in the Echo Studio or Echo Show 10. Smart Home Features It works similarly to Amazon's other smart displays as well as Fire TV devices, allowing you to stream a live feed from some of the best home security cameras and best video doorbells on the screen of the Echo Show 15. The stream can be viewed as a picture-in-picture -picture window, which is useful if you want to keep an eye on your child via a baby monitor, as opposed to the other displays mentioned above. Moreover, the Echo Show 15 is compatible with Alexa Guard which allows it to listen for sounds like glass breaking and smoke alarms. The Echo Show 15 and other Echo devices will be able to learn individual sounds in the coming months, allowing users to create new Alexa routines that will work with their gadgets. For example, you can train it to detect the sound of your doorbell or the opening of a sliding glass door, and then configure other smart home devices to switch on or off in response to that sound or movement. One of the widgets available for the Echo Show 15 will be a specifically designed for frequency used smart home devices, making it easier for you to control them without having to make too many screen taps. Outlook 
Because Amazon is unable to produce smart displays smaller than the Echo Show 5, it makes sense, to a point, to increase the screen size of the device. At the same time, the business envisions the Echo Show 15 being used in a different way than its other Echo devices, according to the company. Having a single location where we can check what's on the calendar, send notes to family members, and add grocery items to shopping lists is something we appreciate the notion of having. However, we are concerned that the limited input methods, such as speaking to Alexa, may make it too difficult to add items to notes and other similar tasks. With the use of a little stylus or even just your finger, you can make things a lot smoother than they already are today. Visual ID is great, but widgets need to be expanded. Amazon's Visual ID facial recognition technology is already available on Show 8 and 10, but it seems particularly at home on Show 15 and Show 10 because of their similar design. It detects when a person approaches the device and tailors the screen or suggestions to their preferences once they've been identified. Visual ID is also completely optional, so you don't have to use it on the Echo Show 15 if you're concerned about your personal information being shared. However, there is some positive news to report. Because it is completely processed and validated on your device, your facial scans will not be uploaded to the cloud and will instead remain on the Echo 15. Although it took two tries to get Visual ID to work, the process is very identical to that of setting up Face ID on an iPhone or iPad. You will rotate your head in a few different directions, as well as perform some circular rotations throughout this exercise. It also serves as the first indication of a dismal and underwhelming camera experience. Even though Show 15 costs $249.99, it only has a 5 megapixel camera, which means it is far less capable than Show 10 and even the Show 8. Since each of those cameras has a 13 megapixel lens, which delivers far greater detail, we were perplexed as to why this happened. If we ignore the camera's performance, Visual ID performed an excellent job of curating an experience that met our requirements. It was aware of our musical preferences and preferred news sources, and it worked in tandem with another prominent element on this site, widgets. When creating a widget, it is simple to leave a note for someone, keep track of forthcoming events, or even have rapid access to the smart home's control system. You can also acquire them in two different sizes, tiny and large, but if you choose the larger ones, there will be fewer of them on the screen. If you're using the phone in portrait mode, you may choose among 14 pre-configured widgets that will appear in the lower half of the main screen, or on the right side if you're using it in landscape mode. The majority of the applications are straightforward, such as a calendar, sticky notes, weather, quick smart home controls, shopping, and music. Surprisingly, the widget panel does contain a small tab that should allow you to swipe it closed, but in fact, it appears to be a purely aesthetic decision. Good sound and plenty of power for Alexa. Unlike the $249.99 Echo Show 10 or the $99 fourth generation Echo, the Show 15 sound quality is lacking. The thinner design causes this. The Alexa display, like similar flat panel TVs, only includes dual speakers for sound. They found a wall of sound that started with guitars, piano, drums and sax, but didn't fully express itself on the Show 15 as it does on our other speakers and headphones. The mix was still clear and sharp, but lacked vigour and bass. Recipes, news, live TV and movies are all much better with good pronunciation and concise vocals. Integration with other devices. Pair with Alexa. Tap the Addition Plus icon in the top right corner of the Alexa app, then Add Device you'll be asked what device you want to set up. Since this is an Amazon Echo, select all devices first. You can also set up a smart light, socket, switch, camera, lock, or security system. Connect with Wi-Fi. Pick an Echo device from the screen. The name should be Echo-XXX, with XXX being three uppercase letters. Unless you have an older Echo device, the Alexa app finds and connects to your Wi-Fi network. Then you may be asked to validate your Wi-Fi network and type the password. Tap Connect after entering this data. The Alexa app connects to your network. After that, a notification should appear showing that your Echo device is connected and Alexa should confirm. Ask a question or request to test Alexa on your new device. Tap Next. Then select a language for Alexa on your new device. Choose the correct language and tap Next. You must consider it because the Echo Show 15 can serve as a smart home hub from which you can manage and control all of your Alexa compatible smart home devices. The new smart home widget is beneficial since you no longer have to hunt around for the switch to turn on or off your lights. For those who appreciate the notion of having an Alexa-powered hub in their house with a large screen, 
the Echo Show 15 may be a worthwhile purchase. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button to get notified of new videos. Until next time, bye.